Hello, fellow bubble developers. Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add video conferencing capabilities to your bubble app using the daily video conferencing plugin. Before I get to a demo, please give me a thumbs up if you like these videos and subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. Okay, so let's do a quick demo here. And I'm just going to call this uh, test. I'm going to go create a room. And then here you see below some information on the room, uh, the title of the room. And I'm going to join the room. And then you get this pop up here. And then join. Hello, everybody. And then here I am in the conference right now. Let me just jump out. I've left the call. Now let's go to to the design here. Okay, before we jump into this part of the design, let's go over to plugins. And this is the plugin you want to use. It's free, it's from Daily, so Daily Video Conferencing and Chat. And just come over here if you're not familiar, add plugins. Just type in Daily. And here it is right, right there. And so now the other thing you need to do is you do need to have an account with Daily. Uh, I'm going to come back to this plugin in a, in a moment to talk about this information here. And so for Daily, this is their, their website. I'm already logged in over here. Now when you come into your Daily account, you're going to want to come down here to Developers and make a copy of the API key here. Okay, and you could come over and do a copy key to keyboard. And now what you're gonna do is come back over to your design to the plugin, plugin page. And then you're gonna come over here and you're going to paste that API key into this field here. Make sure that you type in bearer. So it's important and they even have a little message up here. Make sure you type in bearer, that's important. And this is the latest version here, 3.7.0 at the time of this recording here. And that's all there is really to set up the, um, the plugin. There's some information here on the events. I'll go through some of this in a bit. Uh, the other thing is that there is this plugin page, and I have it opened over here. So some additional information if you're interested in reading that as well. So now let's go back to the design. And uh, the other thing before I get into this part of the design, I should jump over here to data types. And for this one, I've, I've created uh, daily videos. And in daily videos, I have a meeting link. And so that's basically the ability to go and share the link to the, the conference. Uh, room name, so the, the meeting name, uh, room name, whatever name you choose for, for the meeting. And then the start time, uh, and then the room title, the name of, of the meeting. Okay, so on here, if you're not familiar, creating a new field. I'm just going to do test, and then text is for most of these, and then I do have number on there for the date. Let me just cancel out of that. So for date, it's the start time. And that's basically all there is. Um, in your design, you might have some additional fields to it, but for this simple uh, demo, these are the fields that we'll be using. And when I come over here to the design, I have this group over here and I just named it create a room and basically uh, no type of content it's just the standard defaults for a group um, the reason why I put these fields into a group is I'm going to reset the values and I'll show you that in a workflow shortly I have a text field uh, room title and then I have this input room title um, I've got start time in day another text field, and then I've got the date time picker as well. And for this one, the I think pretty much all of these, um, I just have the default values. Um, if you're not familiar with these fields or these elements, I should say. So basically we have group, and then in here, text, and then test. Just kind of quickly here, you can change the format. I've got it bold over here, so to do that, rich text editor, I just double click on the word and then bold, 
and save. There's plenty of other options if you want to play around with the text editor, uh, different colors, and so forth. Next, we have the input field. And so input down here, input forms, input. And so for this one, I just left it uh, with uh, standard or default values, except I guess I did go in here and change uh, prevent enter uh, for submitting. And I also have it so that I should have it, the input should not be empty. Yeah, so the input should not be empty. Reason I did that is I didn't want the user to inadvertently start typing and accidentally hit the enter key and submit, and I don't want them to leave this field blank uh, when I hit the create a room button here. So setting these should not be empty and be uh, preventing the enter key are the ways to achieve that. And then next is the, let's see, where are you? It is the calendar date time picker right here. And so for this one, you see it's got uh, both the uh, date and time. So just come over here, date, date and time is all you need to do for that. There are some of the other things. So current time and date. So just to make it easier for the user, and this is all the way down at the bottom, current date and time value. So you see, have that here. Um, and then I guess I set this up for our 30 minute, that's the default value. And then the time format, I did change it. Uh, whatever your preference here, Bubble does accommodate for different formats. And then the minimum date. So I put on this one um, to have current date and time. That way you don't, the user doesn't inadvertently create a meeting for the past. And that is basically those three, uh, these fields here, these elements. I'm just going to drop this down a bit. And then we have this button create room. And on this one, we'll look at the workflow. Basically, the first step is to create a daily room from the plugin. And then from here within the bubble database, I'm going to go and create the daily videos. So just to quickly jump back over here, daily videos. So this step here is going to be creating that and then resetting the group to create the room. As I mentioned a few moments ago, basically that's gonna reset the inputs on here, particularly this input field here, so that when the next meeting gets created, uh, the field will be automatically uh, reset to a blank. Okay, so just to walk through on getting these steps, so this is a plugin, so we're gonna come down here, uh, so for add an action, uh, plugins, and then for this one, we're going to come down daily. There's a bunch of options. Again, I'm not going to go through all of these in this video, uh, but we are going to create a room. That's the first thing. These values here, I just left in the demo all as uh, basic or the default values, I should say. Um, and there are some on here. I believe these down at the bottom. There is a pay version for daily. Uh, this is a free version in this video. It provides quite a bit of capabilities, which is very nice and generous of them. I am going to jump over to, uh, you'll see here, there's this link here for some reference information. I do have that link open here. If you are interested in a bit more of the details on what some of these values, let me just jump back over here. Some of these are values, so enable chat, enable people UI and so forth. So these are described in more detail in, in uh, Daily's information on this link. Again, I'll put that down below in the notes. And so that's all basically that there is for this step one here. I'm just going to delete that. The next one, create the daily video. So we're going to come under data, create a new thing, and then it's going to be daily videos. And then for this, I'm not going to go through all of the different um, data fields here, but so the room name, and I can just type in here input and bubble will come down and show me all the inputs. I choose the value here, and that's all there is. And you can see room name uh let's see here room name 
Um, so I guess I actually made this so that the room name was back here. It's been a while since I've played around with this design. So uh, it's basically the room name is uh, input one daily crate name name there and then the other fields here again meeting link the result from step one so meeting link result from step one and then the url and that's how we get uh, where is it right here this one so basically, again, just add these these fields from for the database, uh, and that's how we create the instance in Bubble. And then last thing is the reset for the group. So elements here under element actions, and then reset data, and then group create a room. And this is another nice thing with Bubble; it shows me what the images of it, and that's it for creating room it's it's that simple and again if you're not familiar the button here so over on visual elements button and i didn't do anything fancy with this one so i just left it as is for this video next thing we have here is this repeating group and in the repeating group the type of content is daily videos because we want to show the content in the repeating group a list of things and the things are daily videos and we want to do a search for the daily videos and it's a simple search for this one it's just I'm looking at all the daily videos that were created in the database um, I do have this uh, sorted by the create date um, you can certainly sort it however you, you like if you want to sort it at all and um, that is basically it for the repeating group here. I think I may have changed the default from four rows to two rows. And then the next thing I have on here is to join the room. And that's a, a link. And basically on this one, it's going to take um, the external, it's going to go to an external URL. It's going to take the current cells daily video meeting link here, and it's gonna to go to that, that destination, which is the link for the video, uh, for the video conference. And then I also have checked on here, open into a, a new tab. Uh, so basically, if somebody is running the app and they hit join room, it's not gonna go and uh, overwrite the app as it's running. It's going to open up, um, and I've already closed it out, but it's gonna open up that, that second uh, window to join the room. And then the other thing I have on here is the delete button. And that's basically an icon. I'll just do real quick for the icon. And I think if I type in trash, yep, there it is, like that. And then for this one, I do have a conditional. And basically for the conditional, let's uh, define another condition. When this icon uh, is hovered, and then select a property to change when true. I'm gonna change the icon color, and I just picked red for that one. And that's all there is for that conditional. It's just a good uh, user experience, user, user interface, a visual cue that it is, um, I'll just come over here, and you can see that cursor is over it. And the next thing is the workflow for this. So for the workflow, there's two steps. First is to delete the room. And that's the room within the, the daily uh, dailies database. And then delete the instance of it within bubble database. So basically, if we come over here, we see that we have this uh, instance of, of the meeting here. And actually, I'm gonna come over to this here and sessions. Okay, so this is a session here uh, that did at the beginning of the call. So you can see that that is showing here as well. And uh, let's get back to the workflow. 
And so that's what these two steps, delete it within Daily's database and delete it within the Bubble uh, app the database. To do this, again, it's a plugin for Daily. So delete room. And then for this one, it's the current cells because we are choosing, actually, let me just really sh quickly show you. I'm gonna create another test, call it test two, create a room. And Bubble is doing its thing here. Okay, so now we have two, test one was the original and test two here. Um, so now, this is taking the current cells video. So the current cell being this cell here or in the run mode here, this one or this one. So the current cell is being deleted or the daily instance of the meeting is being deleted. And so insert dynamic data, current cells. And what did I put on here? Room name. There. And then the next step, I'm delete that. Next step is delete the video. So it's data, delete a thing, and current cells, daily video. And that's it for the delete. The next thing I should have shown actually on the, the link. So link over here under visual elements, link. And for this one, it's basically a meeting link. That's where we're going to go to. Ah, I actually kind of goofed. Sorry. Let me copy this. And it's actually the, the external page. And then I'm going to go and do current cells meeting link. There we go. And then here it's just um, link to meeting or whatever you would like to put on that just like that and it's as simple as that open a new tab and I think I didn't change anything else on here so that's how you set up the link to go to the external page lastly we have this copy uh, room to link now this one is actually another plugin uh, it's kind of a nice plugin and let me just go over the plugins it is uh, air copy to clipboard another free plugin and for this one again I think if you just type in clipboard and there's air copy right there so go in and install that if you'd like for your design or any of your bubble designs it's actually it is a nice uh, capability to have so on this one basically all it's going to do is allow the user when they are in the cell to copy the link. So instead of highlighting and doing a control C, control V type of thing, you can just do copy and then the link is copied to the clipboard. And to do that, we'll go to the workflow. All right, so copy current cells meeting videos meeting link. And then I have this alert, which basically just pops up and uh, let me just jump back over here real quick. So on the alert right here, and all I have is link copy to clipboard. Again, it's easier to see in the rich text editor uh, that it's bold and blue, larger font size. And then if you're not familiar with uh, alert, it's right over here, alert. And I just left the default values aside from changing the, the font on it. All right, back to the workflow. Um, and for this one, um, again, it's a plugin. So we are doing a copy clipboard from static text. And then the static text is meeting link. And that's all there is for that. For the message here, it's under element actions. It is uh, alert. And then I only have one alert on here, so it just automatically defaults another nice thing with bubble. And I just left these times, so half a second to fade in, two seconds for the uh, alert to stay visible, and then half a second for it to fade out. 
And that's all there is for that. And basically that is the, it for the design. Um, the other nice thing to be aware of uh, with daily, and again, uh, create an, you need an account with daily. Uh, they are very generous here. You get a thousand or 10,000 free minutes uh, every month. Uh, so I, it's very, again, generous on their behalf to, to do this for all of us in the bubble community. Um, and that is basically it. Again, thank you very much. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video uh, and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.